guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. I want to thank all my subscribers, the old ones, the new ones, the ones that just keeps coming back because you love what you hear and what you're seeing. So today I'm giving you guys a little background on melanin. You know, melatonin. Did you know that there's a hundred thousand products that is made out there with melanin in it? You know, melatonin. I want you guys to watch this. And I'm hoping it educates you guys because it's a lot of things I didn't even know. And I want to share it with y'all. Go right ahead and enjoy and comment below because I know there's a lot of empowering melatonin people walking around there. Important man or an important woman. But for a start, I want to excite you in this word called melanin. Melanin. Who knows this word? Who of you knows melanin? M E W L A N I N. Melanin, anybody? Huh? Okay, you haven't. Yes, she knows because, <laughs> because she works for the Virus Institute. And you know because you're a teacher. But what about you? You haven't started learning, particularly if you're a black person, unless you know what melanin is. Melanin is a carbon that does not deteriorate, deteriorate over time. Melanin is your black skin pigmentation. Or some in plants, it is equivalent to chlorophyll. But it is the most powerful thing that you can have. In terms of people, we get your importance on the amount of melanin you have. So we say the darker, the better. The darker, the better. Melanin is produced by an enzyme. You know an enzyme? Called melatonin. 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 So you need melatonin to make melanin. But for melatonin to make melanin, it needs a catalyst enzyme that we call tyrosinase 7. So you have tyrosinase 7 to work with melatonin to produce melanin. If you have internet and you look for melatonin, you will find there are over 100,000 products made out of melatonin, basically made out of black skin. So melatonin, melanin, and tyrosinase 7. If you have no tyrosinase 7, you can't have black skin. You can't. And in, my, in biology, if you have no black skin, they say you are depigmented, demelanized, or you are an albino. Yeah? You understand that? Yes. Yeah, Sebo, you know you have lights in the car. Yeah, in, just in case. So, if you have no black skin, you are an albino. In biology, white people are called albinos. And the word white comes from the Latin word albinus, which means white. So in biology, you have somebody who is depigmented, which means he has no pigment, demelanized, who has no melanin. And if you are depigmented or no melanin, it means you are an albino. If you have melanin, it means you are a black person. That's in biology. Now, this melanin is responsible for a lot of things, and I want you to write them down. I hope you have where to write, students, huh? Do you have where to write? No. Who said no? How can you be a student and not know where to write? You came for what? For dinner? Huh? Hey, Sebo, this is not a wedding. You came for a lecture, and an important one. Number one, it protects you against the ultraviolet rays of the sun. and the energy from the earth. So, when the sun hits your body, certain rays are allowed in, certain rays are filtered out. It stops you getting skin cancer. Then it protects you against the energy from the earth, which means if you are stand, it anchors you. Like in electricity, you have earthing. Yeah? When, when something is earth, 
It's not hit by lightning. You know that. So, if you are standing here with a white person and lightning struck, it would pick a white person, throw him there. Lightning bolt Ooh. struck. You would remain standing tall, blessed of the sun, because of your melanin. So, number one, protects you against the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Number two, protects you against the energy from the earth. It earth anchors you. Number three, melanin is responsible for healing. When you look, when you cut yourself, if you cut yourself, you see blood, you see something red, they may be white. And when it starts healing, a dark skin comes and covers it, or a dark patch comes and covers it. That dark patch is melanin. Melanin sends reinforcement around the area that is affected. You don't have melanin, you don't sleep properly. You have what they call insomnia. Melanin controls fatigue. So you are not tired most of the time. So other people who don't have melanin, they have fatigue. If they travel in a plane, they get what they call jet lag. Then melanin is also responsible for something else. What we call a corresponding cosmic connection. It, it, it links you to the universe. You begin feeling something. You, know, where you feel energy pulses. You know there is a lot of energy that is here that you don't see. Energy you don't see, but you can harness it. For example, if somebody calls you on phone, you don't see the sound traveling in the air. You know, but it comes to your phone. So the, there is a, a, a ultraviolet uh, ultra high frequency signal that comes to your telephone. Are you with me? So, for example, one way you can test a corresponding cosmic connection is when a black person hears a music pulse, a sound pulse, a sound, an energy sound. So, if I say na 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 They would not move in tandem with the rhythm because they don't have melanin. They do not have that corresponding cosmic connection. The corresponding cosmic connection also means that you could be seated here and something happens to you and your mother at home will see a leaf fall from a tree and you say there's something wrong with my son. Or you could be going somewhere and you see a rat cross the road, you say, ah, uh -uh, this is not a good thing. You know, so, so that nature works with you, not against you, to warn you, to be, you are at harmony with nature. So that's another thing that melanin does. Protects you against the ultraviolet rays of the sun, the energy from the earth. Melanin controls healing, melanin controls fatigue, melanin gives you a corresponding cosmic connection. But melanin also does something else. Melanin gives you dominant genes. Okay guys, what did you think? Did you know all these about your melanin? I didn't. Now, to the people that decide they want to bleach their skin and get rid of their melanin, I remember when I came to the United States, I was darker. But in the winter time, with the lack of sun and lack of vitamin D and ah, uh, if I can get that beautiful complexion back, that melanin, that protection, ah, uh, there's nothing like it. Guys, I hope this empower you. I hope you learned something new today and I hope you will embrace your melaninity. Thank you guys for coming back and know Tony loves and appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful, awesome, magnificent day.